Welcome back to the Alamo Dome for another edition of UTSA Roadrunners Football. We are here in week 8 as the 4-2 Roadrunners take on the 4-2 SMU Mustangs. Once again at home as UTSA looks to avenge last week's loss at the hands of the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles. 38-21 was the final last week as the runners come out of the tunnel ready for week 8 action to get underway here in just a little bit. 2-1 in conference against the 2-0 in conference Mustangs as UTSA looks to get back in the winning column and get their fifth win on the season. Week 8 is up next. And we are set to get underway with SMU kicking off and Fuller gets us started and back deep is Danny Moss in his own end zone about four yards deep. He'll take it out on the near side. He's hit and fumbles the ball at the 15 yard line but it's recovered by the runners. First down and 10 for Eric Hancock as he lines up under center. Twin tight end set. They'll go with the running game to start things off here with Anthony Banks. Connor played the left side, that's about seven yards of the carry. Third down and three now for Hancock. First third down of the game and Hancock quickly throws outside. Caught by Rose coming back for the ball and he will knock it the first down. Shove out of bounds two yards shy. A very quick three and out for UTSA and now we'll see Neil Burcham lead the SMU offense out as he'll quickly fire outside to Simpson. That's about an eight yard gain. And now third down and one. Pistol formation for Burcham. UTSA shows blitz. They bring it. Outside throw. Intercepted by A.J. Brown. Out of bounds to the 43-yard line. UTSA football right there. And the young redshirt freshman has his third interception on the season. UTSA will take over in Mustang territory. Last week, UTSA was unable to capitalize on turnovers and opportunities. We'll see how they do this week. Hancock deep over the middle. He's got Stevens on the seam route inside the 10. First and goal, UTSA. And now out of the shotgun, Hancock on the read option. He'll keep it up the middle. Touchdown. I don't think we've ever seen that one before. Eric Hancock winning the read option. And sometimes in these big games, you have to try something new, and UTSA just got the Mustangs napping. Touchdown, Roadrunners. We will see how Bertram responds to that interception, that last possession. Bertram will throw. Quick fire slant. Caught Simpson. That's good for a first down. Just shy of the 40. And now first down and 10 out of the shotgun. Here's Bertram to throw once again. A four-man rush. Good protection. Murphy over the middle. First down on top of the UTSA logo. And now in runner territory, just past the 50. Bertram fakes the handoff and keeps it. Bowser over the middle. Kevin Bowser has eight yards in this short catch. And now pistol formation on second down and short. Play action for Bertram. He'll throw. Good protection. Throws downfield. And Murphy has it, but it's ripped out by Jason Holmes. And that'll be incomplete. Third down and two. UTSA bringing the pressure. Bertram hit. Pass caught by Jason Cotton over the middle. And that's inside the 15-yard line. First down, Mustangs. Good throw by Bertram facing pressure. And now new set of downs. And Bertram open his Cotton. He has it at the two-yard line. Tackled. And it's first and goal. Empty backfield shotgun for SMU. Two yards to go. Bertram hit to the end zone. Touchdown. Jason Cotton caps it off. And that will tie the game pending the extra point. A two-yard touchdown pass from Neil Burcham to Jason Cotton, his fifth touchdown catch on the season. All tied up at seven here in the first quarter as Eric Hancock hands off to Anthony Banks, looking for running room, following his blocks. It's a first down to the 36-yard line. Now a twin tight end set as Hancock. Short step, drop, slant, caught by Whitaker. That'd be good for maybe four yards, a short gain. And now third and six. Trips right for Hancock out of the gun. Here's the pressure. Blitz picked up. Pass over the middle is caught by Whitaker in SMU territory. First down runners. And the chains move and now Hancock out of the shotgun. Hand off to Banks. Looking for room. He has maybe five yards to be tackled and it'll be second and five. And shotgun once again. Hand off Banks. Now going to the right and he's hit hard in the backfield. A loss of two. And Banks is shaken up and he will leave the field. Danny Moss in now to replace the hurt Anthony Banks. And Hancock's quick throw, caught by Whitaker. In traffic, he makes the catch first down. Great job by Whitaker on this drive. And now Moss on the handoff, cuts it back up the middle, a spin move. That's going to be good for about nine yards. And now the Maryland formation on third and short. They go to the up back, Richie Battle, and that is good for a first down. Wildcat with Evan Newton in the game. Jet sweep to Moss. Outside with speed. He has some room and he picks up about eight yards with that speed. Clock winding down here in the first quarter and Hancock takes the snap from under center. Pass over the middle. Caught by Randy Jones. Just shy of the goal line. It's first and goal. 
Hancock in the eye formation. Danny Moss takes the handoff up the middle. Touchdown! Danny Moss has his third score on the season, and UTSA retakes the lead. 14-7 in favor of the home team, the UTSA Roadrunners, as SMU takes back control on offense. And Simpson has the catch over the middle. He'll be just shy of midfield. Bergeron with a good day throwing so far, despite the interception. 9 of 11 so far. Second and 11. Lob over the middle. Caught by Kevin Bowser. Working on Brandon Ford. First down, SMU. In field goal range now as Bertram fakes the handoff to Gatewood. Pass caught by Cotton over the middle. He'll be close to the 10-yard line. It's a first down. And first down and 10 for Bertram. Shotgun snap. He'll throw. And under pressure, he'll throw it. But it's caught by Jason Cotton, and it's a touchdown for the Mustangs. And he had to make a decision quickly, and Cotton got open and bailed out his quarterback for the score. Once again, a tie game. We could see another shootout here in the Alamo Dome. Pass over the middle. It's caught by Whitaker at seven yards. Four minutes, 12 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Here's Hancock from under center. He'll throw. Short caught by Stevens. That's good for maybe seven yards. Third and short coming up. It's a single back behind Hancock. It's Danny Moss. He'll take the handoff. Looking for room. He can't find any. Trying to go outside, and he's tackled for a loss. SMU defense holds. And now with a tie game, SMU has control on offense. 3.20 to go in the second quarter. Neil Burcham to throw over the middle, and it's tipped and knocked away, nearly picked off again by A.J. Brown. Third and 11 now. From their own 19-yard line, Burcham takes the snap. Good protection. He sails it towards the sideline, and it's batted away. A.J. Brown is there again. A very quick three and out, and largely in part due to A.J. Brown, and now the punt goes deep to Vince Taylor. He has some room, and most the kick. It's picked up by McGee. UTSA retains possession, but they'll lose yards on the return. UTSA facing a three and out of their own. If they can't convert on third down and long, they need 11 yards. Hancock lobbing it deep, looking for Moss, and it's nearly intercepted in SMU territory. Fourth down coming up. SMU football, back-to-back -back three and outs by both teams. We have two minutes to play in the second quarter. Bertram floats it outside short. It's caught by Bowser. First down just past the 40-yard line. Minute 48 and counting to go now in the second quarter. First down and 10. Pass again outside. It's caught by Bowser. That's another eight yards on the board. Now close to UTSA territory, just shy of midfield. Second down and two. Here's the pressure, but the pass is quickly thrown and caught by Bowser again. First down, Mustangs. Bowser getting a lot of passes thrown his way, and now it's second down and seven, the edge of field goal range. Bertram, quick throw, and it's intercepted. A.J. Brown on the return in SMU territory, being chased, and A.J. Brown's second interception of the game will go for a touchdown. That is a 74-75 yard return for a touchdown, and A.J. Brown has his fifth interception on the season. Defense once again comes up big. SMU ball after Bertram throws his second interception to A.J. Brown. A little bit of time before halftime, and Bowser once again. Nobody can cover this guy. Second down and five in UTSA territory. They have to start double covering Bowser, finding a way to stop him. Bertram panicking, and he goes down to the sack of Andre Ross. Third down and 10, 14 seconds to go in the second quarter. Bertram looking to throw on third down. He lobs it, intercepted! A.J. Brown, number three of the first half. He had three coming into this game all season, and this first half has belonged to him. His third interception, and what a game he is having. And that was just blanket coverage, and it ends the SMU threat. We have two seconds to go before halftime. We'll see UTSA maybe throw a screen, and they do try to get it set up. It's covered, though, and Hancock fires across the field. Caught by Whitaker. He's tackled. We'll go into halftime, but it looks like Whitaker is shaken up. He's on the ground, writhing in pain. The trainers are out to check on the junior receiver, and the card is coming out to take him off the field, and this is a huge blow to the UTSA offense right before halftime. We'll have the second half coming up next, and we'll try to get an update on the Tim Whitaker situation with his injury. We'll have a second half up next. Out for the third quarter as UTSA leads the SMU Mustangs 21 to 14. The first half was dominated by cornerback AJ Brown, but Kevin Bowser of SMU, their tight end, has had a great game of his own as he gets SMU into UTSA territory. Bertram to throw on second down. And plenty of protection. Extra guys in the block. He goes to the sideline. And he had McGee turned around. And Bowser has it again. His eighth catch. 
135 yards for Kevin Bowser as no one has been able to contain him. New set of downs over the middle. Pass caught by Bowser. Tripped up just shy of the goal line. First in goal coming up for the Mustangs. 6-13 to play. Goal line formation. Hand off to Gatewood. Up the middle. Touchdown SMU as Bowser leads them down the field and Gatewood ties it up. 21 apiece as UTSA's offense takes the field again. And here's Anthony Banks off the power run to the near side. That's good for about seven yards. And UTSA running quite a bit of I formation. They love to run that when they run the football. And Banks takes it again, another nine and a half yard chunk. And we have an update on Tim Whitaker. It appears he suffered a torn abdominal on that last play of the first half. Timetable for recovery is uncertain right now, but that is a big blow either way being the number one receiver for UTSA as Anthony Banks moves the chains. So going forward, we'll see a lot of Darren Rose and Randy Jones at receiver, and a lot of Anthony Banks running on this drive, first down up the middle, as he's been carrying this UTSA offense down the field, but it appears now he is shaken up once again on the ground in pain. UTSA's number one halfback and receiver now out of the game, at least for the time being. Second down and nine for Hancock. He'll fire to the end zone, overthrows Randy Jones. He was wide open. Third down and nine as Hancock missed the touchdown on that throw. And now under pressure being chased and Hancock is dropped beyond the 20 yard line. And we will likely see the field goal unit come out now. About a 37 or 38 yard attempt for James Benson as he knocks this one home and it's a 24, 21 lead for the UTSA Roadrunners. And SMU has the football again with 2.47 to go in the third quarter. Neil Burcham to throw, he lobs it outside, caught by Kevin Bowser, and he will be just shy of the first down marker, his 10th catch. With the game Bowser is having, maybe A.J. Brown has to cover him. He has three picks already. Second down and two, it's Bowser again. Breaking tackles past the 40, down at the 50-yard line. Kevin Bowser is putting up career numbers today. Second down and 10 for Bertram. And he'll throw underneath. Caught by Gilmore, immediately stopped by A.J. Brown. Third down and eight. UTSA playing soft on the outside, single high safety. Third down and eight. Bertram going deep, and it's knocked away. Good range by Kyle Nichols, and UTSA's defense holds. UTSA has the ball second down and five as Danny Moss is still in the football game. Hancock over the middle, caught by Darren Rose, breaks a tackle, a block from Moss, a first down to the 45-yard line. Second down for UTSA, under one minute to play in the third quarter. Hancock lobbing it deep for Rose, and he can't hang on to the sideline. Third and seven. UTSA has to get to the 44-yard line of SMU. Here's the quick rush, and the blitz gets to Hancock, and it's fourth down. We'll go to the fourth quarter. UTSA has the lead, 24-21. A great Conference USA battle. One quarter left for these two 4-2 teams. Looking for win number five. Hand off to Gatewood. One of the few runs they've run so far. And this is only good for one yard. SMU down by three as UTSA showing blitz. They stack the box and back off. Bertram to throw. Outside. Picked off. A.J. Brown. Number four on the day. He came into this game with three on the season. He has four today. That's a UTSA single game record. What a game for A.J. Brown. Now UTSA wants to capitalize. A three-point lead. Hancock fires. Wide open. Touchdown. Trevor Stevens is there. That didn't take long at all. A two-score game finally as it's 31-21. UTSA trying to pull away and they have the momentum. Short pass caught by Simpson. There's Brown and Ford to take him down. What a tremendous breakout game for A.J. Brown, though, as it's second and seven. Pass caught by Murphy over the middle, and that's good enough to get into UTSA territory. And now Bowser lines up slot right, and Bertram will throw on first and ten. He's looking for Bowser on the wheel, and it's knocked away by Kyle Jones. Good coverage. Starting to contain Kevin Bowser. That's what they needed to do this whole time. Third down and four. Hand off Gatewood. Bouncing it outside. Picks up a block in the secondary. And Gatewood inside the five. Touchdown SMU. I don't think anybody expected a run there. And Ty Gatewood takes it 36 yards for the touchdown. We're back to a one score game. 31 to 28 as SMU comes charging back. UTSA trying to silence their comeback as Danny Moss following blocks on the outside. He picks up enough yards for the first down. He's down to the 25-yard line. And now Vince Taylor in the game taking the handoff up the middle. And he'll pick up about seven or eight yards. 
Single back, twin tight end now as Taylor takes the handoff again. Looking to go outside. Here's the speed from Taylor across midfield and up past the 40-yard line of SMU. Great running by UTSA in this game. Working their way down the field and Moss takes this one. Nice juke to the outside and that juke picked up about 10 extra yards in the long run. Trips right on third and four. Taylor next to Hancock out of the shotgun. Hancock fires. Stevens has it again. Touchdown. Roadrunners once again make it a two-score game with Trevor Stevens. Second touchdown catch on the day. That's a seven-play, 92-yard drive. 38 to 28. 309 to play in the football game here from the Alamo Dome. First and 10 for Neil Burcham. Wide open over the middle. Underneath the soft coverage, it's caught by Murphy. And now under three minutes to play. Burcham to throw again. And he'll wait and now fire it deep downfield. And blown coverage. And Jason Cotton gets behind the defense. Touchdown Mustangs. They answer back quickly as the cover two defense was unable to contain that outside wheel. SMU will not go down easy. 38 to 35. Hand off to Moss. And he can't find any room this time. It's a loss of two. Second down and 17. Four-man rush, pressure quickly on Hancock, and he's dropped for a sack. Third down. And UTSA forced the punt, a very impressive stop by SMU, and a fair catch is called for and made at the, U at the SMU 43. SMU has the chance to take the lead or at least tie the game. First down and 10, we have under two minutes to play. One timeout for the Mustangs. Bertram hit, and he fumbles the ball, but SMU hangs on. Rushing back to the line as the clock is running inside 140. And Bertram will spike the ball. There's plenty of time. And they just cost themselves a down and call the spike. They really didn't need it. And now it's third down and 18. Bertram to throw. And he's got to go long. One on one deep. And it's knocked away by Holmes. Good coverage. And now fourth down and 18. This is for the football game. Neil Burcham to throw. He needs 18 yards. He fires it long and it's knocked away by Dominic Carter. And that should seal it for the UTSA Roadrunners. Hancock will take a knee, but it appears it will be about a one or two second difference between the play clock and the game clock. We'll see what UTSA does. And here's the punt unit out. And I expect them to punt it right out of bounds. As Reed takes the snap, the clock hits zero, and here's the punt through the end zone, and the game is over. UTSA is victorious. UTSA has win number five as they knock off the SMU Mustangs by a score of 38 to 35. A very intense matchup, and UTSA was led by A.J. Brown's four interceptions, and Kevin Bowser for SMU had an extremely impressive day, but it was not enough to top the home team, the UTSA Roadrunners, who are now one win away from becoming bowl eligible for the third year in a row. Next week, UTSA will take on UTEP and their chance to get win number six. That game will once again be at home for UTSA in the Alamo Dome, taking on the 2-4 and four UTEP Miners. That will conclude a very exciting week eight of UTSA Roadrunners football. Leave your feedback on the game and what you thought of it, and we'll see you next week in week nine as UTSA hopefully becomes bowl eligible once again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Have a great day.